this tutorial, we're going to go over how to add, edit, delete, hide, and protect worksheets in a workbook. Worksheets are excellent tools for organizing your data because you can separate different types of data instead of placing everything in a single worksheet. For example, if you're tracking the performance of several items, you could use a single worksheet for each item, and then another worksheet to summarize the overall performance of all of the items. How to add a new worksheet. To add a worksheet, there will be a button to the right of the worksheet tabs. If you press this button, a new worksheet will be added. You can also press Shift plus F11 to insert a new worksheet before the sheet that is activated. Another way to add a new worksheet is to right click on a sheet tab. Click Insert and then select what you want to insert from the Insert dialog box. This method allows you to enter other workbooks templates such as time cards, invoices, and other templates from office.com. How to delete worksheets. If you want to delete a worksheet in your workbook, you can right click the sheet tab and select delete from the shortcut menu. Another method is to use the delete command which is located in the home ribbon under the cell group. If you want to delete multiple sheets, you need to press control, select all the sheets that you want to delete, and then follow the previous steps. How to name a worksheet. To name or rename your worksheet, right click the worksheet tab, select rename from the shortcut menu, and then type in the new name. You can also double click the worksheet tab and Excel will allow you to edit it there. Worksheet tab color. Some people like to color code their worksheets. To do this, right click the tab, select tab color from the shortcut menu and then select the color of your preference. How to change the default sheet setting. You may want to change the number of sheets Excel opens by default. In the 2010 version, Excel opens three worksheets by default. For many workbooks, only one sheet is necessary and if more are needed, you can just add them. To change the default number of worksheets, click File and then Options and the Excel Options dialog box will appear. In general, enter the default number of sheets you prefer where it says include this many sheets and click OK. How to copy and move worksheets. You can also copy and move worksheets in the current workbook or in different or new workbooks. To move or copy a worksheet, right click the worksheet tab and select move or copy to access the move or copy dialog box. Use this box to make your commands. To move a worksheet in its current workbook, you can also click on the Worksheet tab and drag it to the location you prefer. To make a copy of a worksheet, click and drag the worksheet while pressing Control. You can move and copy multiple worksheets simultaneously by pressing Control to select multiple worksheets. Protecting your workbook and worksheets. If you want to prevent someone from making changes to your workbook or to a specific worksheet, you can do this by requiring users to enter a password before making changes to your workbook or worksheet. This could be a very useful tool if you have employees working on a computer where Excel files can be accessed or within a workbook where certain sheets need to be protected. How to protect a workbook. To prevent others from making structural changes to your workbook such as adding, deleting, and moving sheets, you can use the protect workbook command. Click the review tab then in the changes group click on the protect workbook command. Make sure that the structure box is checked. Enter a password and press OK. Then re-enter your password in the confirm password dialog box and click OK. Now to make structural changes the workbook will have to be unlocked with the password. To do this simply click on the protect workbook command and enter your password. You may also have worksheets within a workbook that you want to protect from others. By using the protect worksheet command, you can keep others from making changes by disabling certain commands or keep others from making any changes at all. Click the review tab, then click protect sheet and the protect sheet dialog box will appear. Make sure the protect worksheet and contents of locked cells box is checked. And then check the commands you want to allow users to perform without unprotecting the sheet. Now enter your password and click OK. Then re-enter your password in the Confirm Password dialog box and click OK. Hiding Worksheets 
There may be some worksheets that you don't want others to see. If this is the case, you can hide worksheets. Right click the worksheet and select Hide from the shortcut menu. If you want to unhide the worksheet, simply click on any worksheet tab and select Unhide. From the Unhide dialog box, select the sheet that you want to unhide. Making worksheets very hidden. You can also make a worksheet very hidden where it can't simply be unhidden using the unhide dialog box. Step 1. Activate your worksheet. Step 2. Click the Developer tab. Then in the Controls group, click on Properties. The Properties dialog box will appear. Step 3. In the Visible box, click on the drop-down arrow and select 2 minus XL Sheet Very Hidden. Now your worksheet is very hidden and will not appear in the unhide dialog box. How to unhide a very hidden worksheet. Step 1. Press Alt F11 to activate the Visual Basic Editor, also known as VBA. Step 2. Locate and select the sheet that is very hidden and then press F4. The Properties box will appear. Step 3. In the visible box, click on the drop-down menu and select 1 minus XL Sheet Visible. 